Hello, this is Witch Nikki. And I don't know if you can see behind me or not, but it's a, it's a nice day here in California. And it's March 30th, 2020. And if you're about as savvy as I am about what's going on in the world, then you know what's going on, and I don't need to remind you yet again. But I went to my doctor today. I don't know if any of you know, maybe I've mentioned it a little bit briefly here or there. It's taken a few months to finally get to see my doctor. But um, it was well worth the wait. I found out through opening up and talking to her about what my beliefs are. Because I think we started, you know, talking about the stuff that's going on and stuff like that. Um, I don't even know how it, it got started exactly, but we're talking. And she has Wiccan beliefs, like me. I'm Wiccan. Um, you all know that. If you don't, you do now. <laughs> I mean, most of the people who do know me, know me that, that I'm wicked. So, this first visit between us went so well. I even teared up a little bit. And at the very end, I told her, I know it's unusual for a patient to say this, but, I, but as a human being, one human being to another, for the human being that you are, and that you make me feel okay about being uh, the human being that I am and what I'm going through. All my big emotions, all my uh, feelings, normal, usual. She was telling me she goes through the same thing like I do, of uh, feeling emotional about things and feeling not just our emotions, but all of them around. She said if she had a pill, if she was given a pill, or they found a, a cure for this, I would take it away. She said she wouldn't accept it. And that made me feel so much better, like 100% better, like 100 pounds of weight had been lifted for me and I'm free to be me. I'm free to be Wiccan and I love it. Now I'm out here on my bike ride. It's not, not my usual one. It's my old path that I used to take. Um, in the beginning when I hadn't reached out beyond just the square block. And what I'm going to do is keep my distance from anybody that I see. Keep the social distancing. Well, I wish you could see this one yard here. They've got a lot of succulents and they got some purple flowers. Um, beautiful. They were fixing that about a year ago. Now it looks really nice. I had made a comment about her office. Not a bad comment. I was just like, oh, it's so nice to see the norm, normal uh, Christmas and spring decorations. I said I'm not really a big follower of some of the, you know, the thoughts and stuff on Easter and stuff, but spring is fine. Spring is coming and I've been out in my yard being busy making plants and planters and growing food items instead of succulents well I am growing the succulents they were already there before this happened and I'm just going forward like if I could put this in the ground and it grows if I could put flowers I'm going to put vegetables too fruits whatever I can get whatever I can do and yes people I am on my bicycle today I'm riding my bike oh we've had a lot of snow over on the mountains uh, San Bernardino Mountains area just north of me here I'm going north 
headed north. And there's snow on those mountains. It's lovely. So anyways, there's this uh, pathway down that way. Another spot till I get, you know, actually I'm, I'm thinking about crossing over and going to the park and finishing up the ride over there if I've noticed that the park has been blocked off, but my daughter Michelle says it's because they don't want um, people going in with cars and a lot of equipment and so it's just kind of blocked off to whatever you can carry or bring over there from wherever you know like walk over from your house good morning person crossing the street I mean not crossing across the street I just thought I'd call out good morning because it is it's a good morning now did my doctor tell me any secrets about this stuff only she she had to tell me that there's a possibility that the center where I'm going is going to be um, open to urgent care members only um, that the hospitals are going to be for members of um, PIH scan members stuff like that members only um, they're current trying to bring down the numbers and they're gonna do that vitamin D and getting the negative ions which we need by the way do you know the difference between positive and negative ions positive ones are coming from all the electronic devices in your house the ones that we have every day we hold so close to us um, so yeah, you don't have to drop it. This is how we're communicating now. But you need to get outside and have some of the negative ions, which is nature. Trees, the air, um, sunshine, everything. Listening to the birds, all of that. All of these wonderful negative ions. You want to lower your positive ions as much as possible during this time. You want to stay up on, um, I don't want to say, oh, everybody shift over to natural medicines. No, that would be kind of too much too late or something like that. Not enough too late. Natural herbs and stuff like that, that's for people who've been doing it for a long period of time. Now, I've been taking vitamins for a couple of two or three years now um, adding in more supplements that would be great for me she gave me um, to look for uh, magnesium and vitamin D two or three or something like that so it's written down on paper at home um, I fully understand what the medical field is going through right now. She said that um, one thing that they're doing that is because they're trying to condense and just hold hold the numbers down. Um, they need the they need supplies supplies that some areas did not have enough of, and that's why the numbers are going up because the facilities 
you know, uh, like, say, in New York and stuff, and in the East Coast areas, they do say New York got hit pretty heavy, so I'm hoping all of my New York friends are staying in and being safe and healthy. Another thing they mention, of course, washing your hands. Okay, 20 seconds a day, sing a song, whatever you want to do, go for it. That's great. And I'm not disrespecting it or nothing. Um, but another thing you want, might want to add on to it, think about it, like me now. I'm, I haven't crossed any paths with people as long as I've been riding. And I'm almost, I'm almost done around going down this way and then I'm going to be turning right and now I'm going east and I'll be going south. I don't want to give all away my locations and stuff. It's nice out here. <laughs> and I'm going to keep it that way. I'm watching up ahead to see if there's any people congregating around. And if I'm, so I'm going to take a different route. I'm looking out along the train track. It looks pretty clear. But there's a few people walking around out there. And I don't know if they're... Um, the homeless or druggies that are still lingering. I have nothing against that. Maybe they just haven't gotten moved or relocated or whatever yet. Don't know if I want to go out there. I don't know how desperate people are getting yet. So I'm going to stay to the streets right here. I'm on the sidewalk and anybody who don't like me on the sidewalk, <laughs> tough. Uh, because I need somewhere to ride. If I do see somebody, I'm going to, like I see a person up ahead, crossing the street. I don't know if we're going to be crossing paths or not. He's on a break from here. She's on a break from the factory over here. So, so this food factory, I guess, or maybe just the person. Yeah, he kind of does look like that. He's got had a uniform on. like the farmers market I don't know how many how long that's going to continue to go on but as long as they're providing a service I'm thinking they better not close down the farmers market there's people out there out here that need to have something I'm sorry, but I'm just so happy. I keep going back thinking 
I asked the, the universe for a new doctor and to guide me carefully to choose who and what I needed. Um, I can't, I don't want to mention names for her privacy as well as mine, um, but I'm just so happy that she shares the same belief, core beliefs that I do. And she was mentioning some of um, our sabbats are like um, Beltane and Ostara, which is the spring times. Um, you know, she said she, she usually likes to make cookies for people, but she didn't know if people, if people were going to be doing that this year. Um, to, to meet one person, one more person. I mean, but this is meeting a person face to face. Face to face that is going to be taking care of my health needs. On you talking to my bike okay I have my messenger off thing messages off because I don't want phone calls right now okay I, I had to take my map my ride app off my bike but I'll know by about how long this video is. It's still going, so. How are you all doing? How are you coping? I'm doing pretty good, real good. Um, I have them, the, I think what might be considered normal amounts, nor, whatever normal is, of um, ups and downs. They weren't too concerned about that I was oppressed uh, once in a while. <laughs> Um, I think some of my depression and stuff might have gone down a little bit since I'm, I'm up and about and grounding more than I used to. I'm doing more and more work around the house than I used to. I just keep busy every single day. And on my maybe, um, Social gatherings are not allowed. Birthday parties, sports activities, organized events, practice social distancing, stay six feet apart, wash hands frequently, six seconds. Please follow the you know what guidelines. So this gate is closed. I guess because they don't want people coming in, but I'm gonna check the next gate down there. If it's closed, I'm going to try the other side. <sighs> yeah, keep busy every day. If you're not a crafty person... Oh, I think it's, it's closed over here too. Yeah, they have a temporary gate over here. Cerrado. Yeah, the park's closed. Okay. Well, neighborhood. 
it's kind of a nice neighborhood, but I don't know. I think I went pretty quickly around the whole block. Maybe I could do that again. I'm going to go past this way and see what's going on down at this end. Because they have like a whole area there that they can't have just the whole gate. I'm not seeing anybody in there. Or am I? School's all bare. They started um, get the food or meal giveaways, takeaways, uh, only going to be on Wednesday out here in Norwalk. driving in the streets. Yeah, there's signs everywhere saying to stay away from this area. So, but there's people walking around in there. The signs don't mean them. <laughs> Street safe, so I'm gonna go back around and just do one more time. That's what I miss about um, my my counter. Of it would tell me how far I've been going and stuff. So I just have to kind of guesstimate. Um, how long it was since I started. So I did just post an Instagram picture just about the time that I hit it out. So if need be, I'll look and see. Um, so I got kind of waylaid by that. I mean, though really put a gate up there but there's definitely signs saying that it's close to the public. It's in Spanish and English. So I'm not going to do it just because I see other people doing it. My mom didn't raise a fool. She used to tell us if all your friends went and jumped off a cliff would you do it too? So 
Yeah, Mama, I'm still listening to you. Got that one in my brain forever. Um, there's some parts of my communication with my doctor that I don't feel comfortable um, discussing because she did tell me something about the medication that I'm taking and that it was um, a good thing for right now that I'm on it but eventually when all of this is passed um, she, she told me that she, she'll help me get off of it so I'm so glad of that Somebody is listening to me. The universe is listening to me. Creator is listening to me. Uh, all the, all the above, and all the belows, and all to the east and the north and the south and the west. Somebody has finally listened to me, and I got a good doctor who is listening to me too. So here we go one more time. People putting out trash because, I mean, a lot, a lot of trash. People just getting rid of stuff. It is spring. People are spring cleaning. So they're getting rid of stuff. But here's the rub. So you got to go careful around the corners here. Okay, it's pretty clear. There's somebody way up ahead but we'll be they'll be out of my path before we get down there so here's the rub on that Ooh, what was I talking about <laughs> But they're like across the street and about 10 houses down the road, so I'm not too worried about it. I got kind of distracted. <sighs> oh, the, the medication I'm taking is, is good for me, and this doctor will eventually take it off, take me off of it for right now. It's good. She said it's a good thing for me to be taking that. Um, this is just so lovely. They put uh, like the rock design and succulents and California plants in there. Um, really good. There's Kitty. Hi, Kitty. She looked at me. because there's like one part that's I think a little bit low but the other part's coming up now to compensate for and she said it has something to do with um, emotions and stress so yeah tree in back of me. California is, I don't know if it's their native tree or not, but I sure see a lot of them in California, palm trees, especially in Hollywood, huh?
if I go back and look at this and figure out, I think if there was like a missing part where I forgot to say whatever I was gonna say, I'll just I'll just fill it in and when I remember I'll be like, oh yeah, there's a part where I missed saying this. So I'll put it down in the comments somewhere or something. Don't worry, that's all normalish too. We are going through loss, and I told this to the doctor, and she agreed with me. She said that I really sounded like I had a head on my shoulder. I said, yeah, you know, this head on my shoulder's been going, going through a lot, so I know how to deal with loss. I'm like, I saw the symptoms. I saw the signs coming. They, those signs and symptoms are coming faster than this other stuff. Let me tell you why. We're all told to stay inside. We're all told to stay in our houses. Our jobs are taken away. Our schools are taken away. Normal life, as you all had, has suddenly been put on hold. Sit back and enjoy the peacefulness that you can find in this moment. And you can. It's there, but everybody's all caught up in a paranoid state. Everybody's scared to death. Okay, well, yeah, you go into a, um, any kind of medical clinic and as well that they should be prepared face masks gloves etc um, even a questionnaire that was on plastic covered with a little marker like a er dry erase thing so I could mark it she could look at it and then erase it clean it off with some, like paper I guess um, when, when the whole visit with her was over I said you know I know it's not normal for people like me to say this to other people like you being that you're a doctor and all that and professional but I told her what you've told me here today and of, of her beliefs, I told her, for the human being that you are, and seeing me today, when they did call and ask if I wanted to have